Alright, so last time out we had to take on the final boat in Salika's chapter, but the catch was instead of dusty old pirates, we were dealing with a group of retired angry Quidditch players. Wizards. They were wizards. Now, under normal circumstances, this would be the type of level that grinds my patience into a fine pace because the wizard class in these games are just a factory level producer of BS. But thankfully, we can use Illusion, which is cheating. But I will never complain about an easy win, so I see no issue. By the way, Illusion summons these weird mist enemies that fight for you, but because the move is called Illusion, I just can't help the fact that it just seems like the Fire Emblem team really liked Itachi's Genjutsu and decided to give Jenny a Sharingan so she could be cool too. Anyway, after we upgrade from Jenny to Jenny Uchiha, we finally finally got to land and spotted two potential recruits for our army led by a little girl. So apparently these two girls, Paul and Katria, are sisters but they have a third sister that was kidnapped so I guess they didn't want to join us because of stress or maybe it's like a Dragon Ball situation where they only grant your wish when you catch them all. Either way they didn't join us and I didn't even get to tell them about the very high chance they had of dying if they did join. Their loss. Doesn't bother me though because we made our way to Sophia where we last saw Almond Mycin so now we can get some real story started. My shimmiers. My boys with the shimmy. So the only thing that I'm worried about, and I remember this very, very vividly, uh, are the bone walks. I, I just came here to see my boys groove and schmoove again. You know, it's just been a while. I missed them a little bit. Let's see how much damage Volbo does, because he's going to take us to victory. Please do like 24. We do have to land the shot first, Volbo. Now, I'm not worried about the zombies at all. I remember last time it was a bad move to even worry about the zombies because they are- Woo! Bowie! Wait a second! You know what? Bowie might actually have the best luck I've had on any of these units ever. And this should be death. Alright, and the rest of it should be smooth sailing because the re they can do more than one damage to us. And most of us e here- Most of us here- <laughs> Uh, most of us here have distance attacks anyway, so we don't even need to interact with them up close. But we will, because we can. They do one damage, I'm not concerned. This this is feeling kind of pointless, I don't know why I did this now that I'm- Like, I'm here now and I'm realizing, man, this was pointless. Because they do not give enough EXP to warrant us going through all this trouble. Yeah, they also move so slow, so it's like- yeah, I really am just gonna have to sit through all of this, and I chose this life. She could have killed it. She could have done it. She knows she could have. I wonder if the statues have regenerated after all this time. I'm not sure if that's how it works in this game, because we're going to these statues from out from the other side, from Regal, and we're here now. So it's like, I mean, technically these lot have never seen that statue but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's already been used. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it might, it, who knows. Slip it! Oh, she did! I get good, well done. We are gonna, I do really wanna see a crit out of Selica. So if we could like make that, if we can bring that to fruition a little bit faster, I would be over the moon. I wonder if it's better to make a, magic limited this way where it's like it'll it'll sacrifice hp or if it's better to do it the way that like three houses does it where it's like you can use it a certain amount of times like uh like you'll have 10 nosferatus and then once you use that they only regenerate after you finish that that map and then you go to another map and I'm not sure if that model works better than this, cause I'm, with this, I definitely, I'm more, it, it basically feels like it's saying, hey, don't keep doing that, that's bad. Like, don't keep on using magic, because you'll, you'll kill your unit if you keep doing that. And I think that might be better, because honestly, magic is just broken in this game, always has been. At least based, based on my knowledge, bro, every time, every time a mage has been, in any situation, they walk out of it scot-free almost every time. Look, she just critted, I don't even know what her chance to crit is. How, like, they're so strong, like it's so obscene how busted they are. That I do think it probably makes more sense for them to have to sacrifice HP to use stronger spells. Cause that'll probably make it harder. 
But who knows? I don't know. I've only played like three of these games. This being the third one, so technically I've only played two. I'm playing the third one, so my opinion is weak. You, you're going to have to ask Mecha to see if that actually makes sense in the Fire Emblem series. Because who knows, maybe they, they do this more where they do the sacrifice, sacrifice HP thing. Because I don't know. Oh right, I should have been using Volbo. Volbo is still weak. Well, he's not weak. He's actually one of our strongest units. In fact, I trust Volbo with my life before I trust someone like Celica with my life. The problem is that he is that strong, but he's also level one. So I, I'm confused when I use him. Yep, and it is no longer there. None of it works. Thank you very much. I am so glad I came back to waste my time. So much funnier when Python was still here. Remember that? I don't. Is there any reason to go back? I don't think there is. I know my sin is inside of this castle too, so I can't even... I can't even say I want to go back to see if my sin is there and then try to yada yada. It won't matter. Why does it feel like there's more people here? Uh, you better not go to Miller's temple. That area is crawling with geese's... geese's bandits. A hero has arrived in Sophia. We're saved. Are they talking about Alm? He's 10, everyone. Can we forget about the fact that he's like some prodigy or something like that? He's 10. Stop it. Sure, I'm happy. But I'm a bit worried that the kingdom of Regal might invade. We've already done it. Are you not... I am an alien. Look at me. Oh, Mycid! Hey, it's my boy! Salika, it's been a while, eh? Uh, am I doing a voice for him? <gasps> no. Grandfa- Grandfather? Like, adopted grandfather? Not by blood. Can't be. Why are you here? Well, for many reasons. We only ask for one. I see you've arrived safely. You said there's many reasons and then proceeded to tell us none of them. Yes, thanks to my allies. We're all going to Mila's temple. We weren't, didn't someone just say not to do that? Our collective age is average at around 12 and none of us listen to any of the adults. I see. You might want to head upstairs first. You should find someone you've been wishing to meet. Has she? It, it can't be. All? Do we not know about her and she knows about us? That is creepy stuff, Mycin. I don't know why I'm blame, blaming Mycin. Sophia's liberator couldn't be Alm, could it? You'd be surprised! <laughs> Selica, you'd be surprised. Cleve saw us and was like, yes, this 12-year-old boy. Yes. Well, why don't you go see? Okay, cool. I'm going to do literally the opposite of that and check the other side first. Cool. That did nothing for me. <laughs> I should... <laughs> okay. I knew he was going to be up here, right? But like, <laughs> it just looks funny to me because that's exactly how Mycin looked when we came in as Alm. And Alm has only been here since I brought him here. So Alm came in, saw Mycin doing this, and then knew Celica was coming. So he stayed posed like this ever since Mycin went downstairs. And that's just, it's just funny to me. You are S Celica? Oh, so we do know her. We just... Never brought her up. Or maybe we did when we were talking to Mycin and I just missed it. I thought that when Mycin brought up Celica, he was like, Oh, okay. I didn't think Alm knew her, but hey, I guess they do. Oh, so it really was you. I haven't seen you since I left the village. Okay. Yeah, we always used to play together. I held a serious grudge against Gramps the day you were sent away. Okay. I like how they say you, like we we played together when this whole game started off with Mycid saying go play but don't go too far so he it's not like they're much older than I don't know saying we used to play together implies that he's probably like past the days of him playing outside but he's not I was sad too but grandfather told me why he did it if you stay in Ram Doza will come to kill you I'm sure he said it exactly like that but why why would Doza want to kill you, Celica? <laughs> That's translation. That... I'm sorry, I'd rather not say right now. Oh, so she knows, though. Oh, you know what? Homeboy on her side must have said it. I completely forgot. First of all, his name. And second of all, 
what he said to us. No, wait, he never said why. He just said it was dangerous. And we said, we don't care that it's dangerous because we don't listen to the adults around us. And then we left anyway. We did a little bit more frank with Celica and the gang. We like, we were, all four of us were right in front of him and we're like, Yes, we're leaving, even though you literally just told us not to. Alm was like, oh, Myson doesn't want to go? Uh, I could go. And then Lucas didn't say anything. But what he should have said was, didn't Myson just say that you can't go past the threshold where the bandits are? And then Alm would have then said, I'm 12 years old and an adult. In any case, Alm, I have a request. Can war be avoided with the kingdom of Regal? So she's asking as a person of Regal, is there any way that Regal doesn't have to war with Sophia, I guess? Uh, that's impossible. Oh, interesting. I thought he'd very much want to be like, yeah, we can stop the war. You know, very protagonist-like to be like, we can stop a meteor from crashing into the earth, even though all we have are two metal spoons, because that's how protagonists are. But I guess Alm just built different like that. King Rudolph of Regal decided to attack while Sophia is weak. Yes, I'm glad you pointed out, and I didn't have to, even though I did three different times. Uh, Sophia is weak because you are their leader. That is the problem, you're 10. At this rate, Sophia will be destroyed. But aren't we all the same? That, well, yes. I, I'm pretty sure Alm is just saying that, yeah, they're attacking us while we're weak. We can't really stop them from making the war happen. That's up to them. That's not up to me. The, again, 12 year old child that you're talking to. We should be able to coexist. I'm sure Alm wants the same thing. There's no way. Alm is not doing what I thought he would. <laughs> he's, this is not very protagonistly of him. He's, he's very much being like a... He's being very pessimistic. That's what it is. Sophians won't tolerate Regal's barbaric rule. Yeah, that makes sense. We must retaliate. Yes. Yeah, see, I don't know why. Because Selica's talking to Alm to be like, what, don't can we stop this? And you telling Alm to stop as someone who... Alm is a Sophian warrior who is being oppressed. You telling him to not war is you telling him to be okay with being enslaved. That is that is basically how that, that translates. So of course he's gonna say no. I guess that's why he's being so like, no, we, we have to do this. How sad, I'm sure if we talked, we could come to an understanding. Yeah, I'm sure we could, but they're not talking. They're just attacking. Unless Alm... Now that the Sophians call you their hero, which they shouldn't, you want to become their king as well? That's mean, Sel- I, That didn't sound mean. <laughs> I, I guess it did sound a little bit snappy, I guess? I don't know. That didn't read as mean to me. Because she said, they already see you as their hero. Do you want to also become their king? It sounds like a genuine question, but I guess- B depending on the way she says it, that could sound very like, Oh, how dare you? I just want to protect the people of Sophia. That's all. Besides, Sophia's only remaining princess is still alive. I'm planning to search for her. Is that not Selica? Wait, no. Sophia's princess. I still assume it's Selica. She's, she's from Regal, or at least that's what the game wants me to think. No, because she was in the village. She wasn't in Alm's village, so that means she would be from Sophia. And... Gr Mycin's her grandfather. That means that she's related to someone who was a Sophian warrior, so she is Sophian. She could be it. I don't know why that, that, that feels obvious to me. After I find her, I'm returning to Ram. That's not true. Sophia's royal family is gone. Okay, so she doesn't think she's the... Okay, but I get it all. You go ahead to Regal. My companions and I are going to Mila's temple. Oh, I was going there, technically. I just didn't follow through because I didn't want to keep fighting. Oh, I'm not doing that. She's just walking away. Celica? Goodbye, Alm. Um, oh, Jesus. You have reached chapter two's end. Save your game. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay, so we're done with Celica's portion. And we're back to, we're back to my mans. Okay, that was, whew. Oh, earthquake. 